Hi there, this is Webzier. In this video, we are going to talk about type conversion. In simple words, if you have a horse, how do you convert it to a zebra? Let's say that you had a long data type and you want to store an integer value inside the long data type. That is perfectly fine because long is bigger and it can accommodate integer which is smaller. But if you try the reverse where you have an integer and you try to store a long value inside it, then you run the risk of losing data which is indicated by this area that cannot fit inside an integer. So let's take a look at an example of type conversion. Let's say that you had an int variable called earth radius that is 6371. And let's say that you have another variable called long radius inside which you would like to store earth radius. That is perfectly fine because a long is bigger and what you're doing is going from right to left. Remember that this is not maths. You go from right to left and you store the value that is contained inside earthrad which is 6371 inside the variable called radius which is why I have indicated a black arrow over here. Now if you try the other operation where you have a long galaxy radius which is this huge number that is stored inside it and I have an integer variable called radius I cannot directly store galaxy radius inside radius unless I am willing to convert galaxy radius into an integer. And that's what I have done by indicating int in these brackets over here. So if you don't understand some of this, don't worry about it because in the next video, we will go to IntelliJ and do this practically. In the meantime, check out the sections for Googling explicit typecasting in Java and implicit typecasting in Java. Be sure to read about these on Google. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video on IntelliJ. In the meantime, have a nice day.